Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is The Novelty Corner and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new A to Z of Romance book recommendation video for you. This is edition 7. And yes, I do count the live shows as uh, editions in this series. So this one is just me and 26 books that I don't think I have recommended in other A to Z videos. I do generally check this, but there may be one or two overlaps, but we'll, fingers crossed, there's not. For anyone who is unfamiliar with the series, I will leave the playlist up on the screen. This is basically where I literally recommend a book for every letter of the alphabet. The rule for me is that the letter of the alphabet has to be somewhere in the title or the author's name. This is because there are some very tricky letters in the alphabet to find books for, so I do accept that. Occasionally I will accept it in a series name if the series is actually on the front cover. So as long as it's somewhere on the front cover, I'm good with it. And I'm not going to go into too much depth because there are 26 books. It's pretty much going to be a one sentence recommendation. The first one I have for A is Agents of Winter by Ada Maria Soto. This is the follow up to His Quiet Agent. And this is an MM romance between two intelligence agents over who are trying to figure out what their relationship actually is going to be over the holiday period. One of the heroes in this book is asexual. It is a really great, very short novella series. I highly recommend it. B is Triple Duty Bodyguards by Lily Gold. This is a Why Choose contemporary romance between an actress who is known for being high maintenance and the three bodyguards hired to protect her after her house is broken into. C is for Corrado by Bethany Chris. This is the first book in a duet and it is an MMF relationship and it has assassins and mafia, forced proximity and an arranged marriage. D is for Dark Mysteries by Jessica Gadziella. This is a romantic suspense story featuring a private investigator, a scarred hero, forced proximity and only one bed. Content warnings, though, in this one for domestic abuse and loss of a pregnancy. E is for Egotistical Puckboy by Eden Finley and Saxon James. This is book one in the Puckboys series, and it is an MM hockey romance featuring a one night stand and an antagonistic relationship between two hockey players. F is for A Lady for a Duke by Alexis Hall. This is a historical romance with a transgender heroine who falls in love with her best friend. G is for The Worst Guy by Kate Canterbury. This is the second book in, oh my gosh, what's the series called? The Vital Signs series. And it is the relationship between two doctors who find themselves in mandatory conflict resolution counseling after incidents at work. And it is their relationship. It is an enemies to lovers workplace romance. It does feature chronic illness representation, including migraines and inflammatory gastric diseases, but content warnings in this one for a history of disordered eating. H is for Hairpin Curves by Elia Winters. This is a sapphic road trip romance, which is frenemies to lovers. And on this road trip, they get snowed in and have to share only one bed. I is for Inheritance by Katrina Jackson. This is a small town contemporary polyamorous romance story. It is steamy and queer as all get out and I'm pretty sure it's novella length so it's a very easy read. J is for Hard Job by Annabeth Elbert. This is an MM contemporary romance between a bodyguard and a rock star. It has an age gap and it is also a brother's best friend story. K is for Silent Night by Evie Mitchell. This is a contemporary Christmas novella that has very much a Roy and Keeley fanfic vibe to it, but make it a princess and a bodyguard set in Alaska with only one bed. L is for A Lesson in Thorns by Sierra Simone, which is a very gothic, dark academia feeling romance. There is a group of friends. The series mostly centers around a triad within that group of friends, but everyone is queer as all get out. And in true Sierra Simone style, there are some very intriguing rituals and things that are happening when all of these friends are forced together 12 years later after being separated for that time period. M is for Boyfriend Material by Alexis Hall. This is an MM contemporary romance. It is traditionally published and closed door, but it features a fake relationship between the hot mess son of a rock star and a very straight-laced hero. N is for Little Taste of Need by Cleo Evans. This is part of the Monster Cafe series. This is a sapphic novella featuring a female naga and a human who find themselves being match made together. Is that even a thing? Match made? I don't know. O is for the Into the Woods anthology. This is a collection of monster romance novellas and short stories. There are so many diverse characters, sexualities, representations in this book. It is great. It's a really great starting place if you want to try out monster romance because you just want to see what kind of stories you like. It was great. P is for The Payback by Julie Weaver. This is book two in the Team Zulu series. This one is a romantic suspense featuring an ex-Special Forces hacker who finds out that his next door neighbor is trying to take revenge on a mafia slash mob like entity for targeting her family. And so he steps in to help. Q is for Squall Line by Gwen McNamee. 
Connect Me. This is book one in the Inland Sea series. It is basically a pirate kidnapping someone off of her own ship and then the two of them falling for one another. R is for The Rise of Ferran by Jessica Gaziella. This is a MC slash romantic suspense story featuring a woman who basically becomes a vigilante. It does feature a slow burn, childhood crush, siblings best friend relationship. But this one does come with quite a few content warnings, including abuse, which is historical and off page, kidnapping, murder, and violence. S is for Stolen Air by Sophie Lark. This I think is the second book in, oh, that series, I've forgotten the name of it. Brain Fog, we'll just go with it. This one is about the daughter of one mafia family being kidnapped by the head of another and the two of them falling in love after he traps her in his big old house like a Beauty and the Beast retelling. Uh, content warning in this one for sexual assault and discussions around suicide. Tease for Tanked by Mia Hopkins. This one is book one in the East Side Brewery series. We have a cinnamon roll brewery worker hero who also happens to be a boxer falling for an older woman. There's plenty of dirty talk in this one. Absolutely loved it. But content warnings for childhood abuse and domestic abuse, which are historical and off page. You is for Locked Up Liars by L. Thorpe. This is the first book in the St. View prison series. And this is a why choose romantic suspense story between a prison guard, a lawyer, an inmate, and a teacher. And I mostly like this series because one of the other inmates in the series is just a very intriguing character and he gets his story in the next trilogy. V is for Variant Lost by Cadence Snow. This is the first book in a trilogy and you do need to read the trilogy. They all end off on cliffhangers. This one features a why choose romance between new adult age characters who all have superhero like abilities and who end up in a school where they are taught how to use them effectively. W is for Wicked Beauty by Katie Robert. This is part of the Dark Olympus series. This is a polyamorous triad between Helen, Achilles and Patrocles who end up all competing for the title of Ares in a competition and end up falling for one another. This one does feature MMMF and MMF scenes. So clearly I'm struggling in this video because it was filmed a week ago when I was still recovering from my cold, but apparently I couldn't get this name out correctly and I've just tried to edit it and it's not working. So X is for Paris Dallincourt is about to crumble by Alexis Hall. This is a contemporary MM romance story. It is trad published. And this book does center around a baking, a reality baking show, but the biggest part of this story deals with the main character who has severe anxiety and goes through quite a lot. Content warnings in here. This book triggered me and I love it, but it triggered me in an extreme way. So I'm always very cautious when recommending it because it is a fantastic book. Alexis Hall does a great job with writing it and the anxiety representation on page is amazing and very realistic and a lot. So just be aware of that. But it is set in the same world as Rosalind Palmer Takes the Cake. So if you enjoy that, you might enjoy continuing on with this one. Why is With You Forever by Chloe Lease, which is my favorite book in the Bergman family series. This book features a marriage of convenience between a heroine who has a chronic illness, a hero who is autistic, and their desire to see the renovations on the Bergman family A-frame complete. It's so sweet and lovely and just these two characters are precious and I love them a lot. It's also Grumpy Sunshine and just delightful. And Z is for the Hellions Waltz by Olivia Waite. This is a sapphic historical romance between a piano teacher and a woman who is planning a grand heist. So that's it for this round of A to Z romance recommendations. In the comments, I'd love to know if you've read any of them or if you're planning on picking any of them up. If you wanna let me know that you're here but you don't wanna leave a comment, feel free to leave a key emoji down below. Otherwise, I hope that wherever you're in the world, you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.